welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I received a package from MUA Makeup Academy and I just thought I'd show you what's in it. So it's only a small box so we'll just get straight on and have a look. Firstly I got this gel eyeliner. Uh, it comes with a brush that you take off the top. I have actually used this, I used it yesterday. It's waterproof and it stays put. It's not like, um, I've got gel eyeliner that I reviewed last week from Avon. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when you touch the gel eyeliner from Avon, it transfers, um, smudges. This doesn't, this is very good. Um, I think it was quite cheap as well. I think it was only 2 99 maybe. But like I said, you get the brush with it, so it's just a matter of dipping it in the the gel. And it's quite a striking colour, stri a striking black. So it's sort of um, very, very black. So yeah, perfect for doing, doing defining eyeliner. So yeah, so that's that. Then I received the Mosaic Blush comes in a package like this and the blush is like this lots of different colours I actually I've used this as well I just used it just brush the whole lot and used it as a blush like that rather than trying to pick out the little different colours but I suppose you could if you've got time or you want to do that but being a busy mom you don't have time to do that kind of thing so yeah that was perfect this was, again was quite cheap um, I'm not exactly sure on the price, but I know it wasn't that expensive. I know nothing over here, on here, was over um, four pounds, so that would have been around sort of two, three pounds. Uh, next, I have the Pro Base Matte Satin Press Powder. This is in the shade Ivory. I think this might be a little bit too light for me. I've been using ivory and it always goes a little bit orangey on me. So I've been looking for one that's a bit more pale to sort of balance out the colour in a bit. I think this is going to be too light though. Again, this is... um can't really see it to be honest. But I think this is, for my skin tone, it's going to be too light. But I think for someone with a very light skin tone, this would be ideal. I then got the extreme volume mascara um, extreme volume mascara magnifies lashes for a spectacular false lash effect didn't find that if I'm truly honest didn't find that at all I like the brush this is the kind of brush that I like I don't like the plasticky ones I, it's okay it, you know it does the job it's it's mascara it does the job but it doesn't um, give you the effect of false lashes it doesn't give you the effect of lengthening your lashes it just gives you lengthening your lashes lengthening your lashes it just uh, it's just a basic mascara but in, in all fairness for the money then what else can you expect you know I then got a palette this is the spring spring break palette again I've used this and I was disappointed with this if I'm completely honest I thought it'd be better quality than it was it's the same kind of price as the um, makeup revolution palettes but this isn't as good quality if I can get it open there we go um, the colors the colors uh, they're quite nice there isn't a mirror with it that's a downside I think it was a little bit cheaper than the um, Makeup Revolution one. See, this, see, the colours aren't that bold and striking that I'd like them to be. They're more... I know it's a spring... sort of springy... there we go, that's better. Especially a spring palette, but I'd like the colours to be um, brighter somehow, more defined which these aren't, they're very wishy-washy. So yeah, this is another thumbs down from me, I'm afraid. Um, in fact, I think this will probably be given to my daughter. Um, so she'll be pleased. Then I got the eyeliner brush. Now this says that you can put it in your um, handbag, but I'm not so sure. 
just say it's got a lid with it, but I haven't. Let's have a look. And get it out. Yes, it does have a lid. Yeah, actually, yeah. There we go. That's the brush. Very fine nibbed. And it actually folds in half to go in your um, handbag. This is E4. The E4 brush. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, a small brush for the eyeliner. I actually, when I bought the eye jowl liner, I didn't think that the... Um, it would come with a brush so this is why I ordered this one actually but I'm quite pleased with that one so and even even better that it will squash down and fit in my um, handbag oh that's great I like that I think that was 199 then we've got lipsticks I've got two of the matte lipsticks this one is lilac bow I should have really opened all these. Lilac Bell. Let's see if I put this. Quite a nice colour. That's the, the matte. And what's this one? This is Peachy Keen. This one I've actually ordered for my daughter because peaches just don't don't suit me, but um, I know she likes them, so I thought, yeah, and for the price, these are a pound, I think, so, yeah, that's that kind of peachy colour, again, another matte, and then I bought one, two, one, two, three, four, five of their normal lipsticks, I got... Mulberry, you can see that colour, there we go, I got Persian Rose, I got Vintage Rouge, this is a beautiful red, really deep, deep red, I got Barely There, which is a nudey sort of pink, and Coral Flush, this again, this is a nice red one. So I think I'll enjoy using them red ones. I um, look forward to using them. So yeah, that was my um, delivery from MUA. So um, some of the products are a win, some are a fail. But um, I think everyone has their own opinion. But this is this is just soft to see my opinion. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.